Good evening, Bill and Cammie are at a community event. A family in Ocano County is now fighting to save a memorial waterfall they constructed on their property along the shoreline of Reservoir Pond. It was built in honor of Trisha Magnin Stolpa, who died in February of 2021. Just recently, the family was notified by the county the memorial is in violation of a local ordinance. In a story you'll only see on Action 2 News, Jason Zimmerman breaks down the dispute and the emotional impact. While it's been two and a half years since the passing of their daughter, David and Lori Magnin continue to reflect on memories. She really fought hard. As part of the grieving process, the family built a waterfall on the shoreline of their property in Reservoir Pond just outside Townsend. There's even a sign naming it in honor of their daughter, Trisha. My daughter was flamboyant. She wowed people. And I know this project just screams her, her name, her style. And Seeing it just makes her feel like she's still with us. The Magnin's son Colin handled much of the construction in September of 2021. But then this past July, they received a complaint from the county, citing their failure to apply for a permit. The main cost was our time. Um, we easily have over 100 hours of manual labor into it. Uh, this wasn't a paid project. Um, the whole project was done by my father and I. Specifically, the violation is that the county requires structures to be at least 35 feet away from the shoreline. However, the family feels it's a policy that's inconsistently enforced, especially when looking around at the surrounding area. What really tops us off is people come down the channel on their boats, they pull over, they say, we love your waterfall. And then when they see the sign of my daughter's name and the real reason behind the waterfall, the real meaning of it, that was really that gets really touching with people and ourselves. It really helps our um, healing. In a statement, the county administrator told us, quote, O'Connell County has been in contact with the property owners, and it can be a difficult situation when something of great meaning and significance is constructed without the opportunity for county staff to have input relating to zoning and land use requirements, end quote. The Magnans say the county has given them until November 3rd to remove the entire structure. There's no words that can accurately describe the pain of losing a child. But we get some comfort and peace being out here and to have to remove it would be like re-injuring a wound that hasn't it's only begun to heal. The family says they have the option to apply for a variance by paying a $1,500 non-refundable fee, but there's no guarantee of the county board approving the request. Reporting in Townsend, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.